I'm sure you guys have wondered how websites like these are made. You know, these insane 3D interactive websites, which are, which seem super difficult to make. And I'm sure they really are. But today we are going to look at a new tool, which is going to change the way you look at these 3D designs. A tool that is taking the internet by storm and everyone's going crazy about. It's called Dora, not the Explorer, but the app Dora, which can run on your browser easily. This tool is still in alpha and is able to create some crazy 3D animations like I'm showing right now in the background. Today, let's look at all its crazy, amazing features as they are, and also do a little bit of tutorial ourselves. So it's a two in one video today. Also, pardon me for the setup. I'm somewhere else, so I had to shoot it like this. Let's explore this app and all its crazy features. The first best thing about this app is that it's responsive web design at its core. So essentially, when you are designing any design, be it crazy or simple, you can align everything either to other objects or to the frame. So you can create some really good responsive websites and layouts with this. The second feature is called keyframes. And when we do today's tutorial, you'll see how these things work. You have the keyframes feature, which you'll see in tools like ProtoPie or After Effects. And you will be able to use that similar feature here in this tool as well to create those insane animations and interactions you just saw. 3D, this is probably what you guys are here for. You can pick from their own 3D library or you can use your 3D assets which you can download from the internet. I'll show you that in a minute as well. And this is all done with the help of something called a 3D widget. Essentially, a complete 3D environment inside your website which you can edit, access, and omit as per your requirement. You can even adjust things like adjusting the camera, adjusting different parts of the 3D object, or even editing the 3D object in real time. It's as if Webflow and Spline tool had a kid. This would be the final result, which I think is really cool. Components, so I'm sure you guys love components in tools like Figma. This brings the power of components to web design as well. So you don't have to learn the whole new concept of components. If you, if you know components in Figma, you know components here. It's super easy to use and can be used across sites as well. Image sequence. Sometimes you have something like a GIF or multiple frames in an image. So multiple PNGs stacked over the other. You can actually create synchronized image movement from one part of the website to the other. This was the same technique used with the DGI example I showed you earlier, where the drone was expanding. And this was a multitude of images placed right after the other. And they were appearing in sequence, which gave you the effect of this, this little drone popping up. And of course, uh, no good website is done without a good database. So it has its own CMS inbuilt. So you can basically import information, things like blogs, you can create blogs, you can build a complete dynamic website also. So it's not restricted to just good looks, but also functionality like dynamic websites. Let's get started with our own little experiment today, which you can follow along. I'll have all the files and everything in the description. And of course, we'll be creating this amazing iPhone effect with iPhone interactions happening on scroll. So once you reach a project, I suggest starting a new page. I'm starting a new page here, add a new page. And in this, I can name it anything. I'll, I'll name it home. And in this, we, we need to first set up the page. The page is super simple to set up. I make sure, I'll make sure that this is a very deep gray or almost close to a black which is what we require for this iPhone screen. Now I'm importing an image of the navigation that the Apple people have on their website. I'm going to place it on top like so. Of course, you can import images and all that good stuff, super easy. You can even copy and paste images in this canvas as well. Now let's actually add the 3D iPhone so that we can play around with it and edit it according to our requirements. For that, let's search for something called Sketch Fab. And Sketchfab has all the cool 3D models that you require for a website like this. So as you can see, I was searching for Rolls Royce before, but I switched my idea to something more simple, something like an iPhone 14 Pro. Now, when you search on this website, make sure your downloadables are ticked here, right below this. And if you want something which is animated as well, you can even click on animated, which will add a little bit of that flair to your website as well. The first one here seems impressive. It is, it, it's got a nice shine to it as well. So it'll look more realistic. Now, as you can see that it has 84,000 triangles. Try and find something lighter, but for this example, we are going to use this. We'll take liberty for the size as well. I'm going to say download 3D model. And from here, there are so many formats, but I want you to select 
this 3 MB GLB. GLB is most widely used on platforms like these and it has a limit of 15 MB. So let's keep it to 3 MB for this one. So I'm going to download the 3 MB texture size. Once this is downloaded, I can head back to my Dora web page, create a 3D space for myself. So I'm going to click on this 3D cube here and drag around to create a space. Now, since we want this to fit an entire page, we will, on the right, we will use something that will help, which will also help this site be responsive as well. So I'll click on this fixed under this tab here. Inside fixed, I'm gonna change it from fixed to fill space. That will, this will fill out the entire web page, no matter what size of the web page it is. Now here I have import a 3D model exactly what we are looking for. And this allows you to import any model you like. As you can see, I've already have a lot of files downloaded here. Of course, I'm going to click on iPhone 14 Pro GLB and click on open. And this will start uploading here. And as you can see, it has created a 3D environment for us already, which is insane. Imagine something like this in Webflow. People will go crazy. As you can see, you can't see the iPhone right now. Using your scroll wheel or your trackpad, just zoom in. And as you zoom in, things will start to come into focus. And as you can see, iPhone has come into focus. Now we're going to quickly set it up for our first frame, which will be the top hero section. And, in, and for that, we can quickly just adjust it either from here, you have all the rotation values and everything, or you can rotate from here as well, just by hovering over anywhere outside this iPhone, drag around to kind of rotate it and see it in a different light, literally. I want this to have this sort of an angle so that you can see the cameras of this iPhone as well. And I can always zoom in to sort of expand on this. For moving it up and down, just click on the iPhone and just click on this green arrow right here and move it up or down. So it's that simple. Once this is set up according to your requirements, just click outside this little box to defocus this essentially. Now here on the side, I'm going to write something about this iPhone, of course, just to give it that nice little depth effect. So there is a text box right here option. Just click on that and drag out to select the amount of area it should cover. I want the iPhone to be overlapping some of the text, which will be a nice little effect. Once you have something like this set up, quickly resize this and also you can always change and edit the font from the right. You can always change the order of the text so it should come right below this 3D widget right here. Perfect, now it is slightly overlapping this so text. Now let's come into the magical world of 3D animation with this tool. If I click outside the viewport, on the right, there is something called scroll. Make sure vertical scrolling is on. Sometimes it can be off, so make sure that setting is on. And here you want to activate on the top, there's this little icon right next to this cloud icon called keyframe panel. This will activate this keyframe panel, which will show you the keyframes while animating. So here, whenever I shift this little zero from zero to say 40, you can see the viewport is moving. This will show where the person is looking at. So if it is at 80 or 100, it will be in the next section. The person will be in the second section. So here we want to bring it back to zero. And as we are scrolling, the iPhone should animate and move away from us. So here we will create, we will select the iPhone's frame. And as you can see, the 3D widget has been selected. I'll click on this little diamond icon right here, which says add keyframe. You can now move this little zero from zero to something like 100, which is our second section. Okay, 98 is our second section. Now here, what we can do is we can move this 3D widget down, hold shift and just start moving it down. Or you can just drag it out to the second location where the iPhone should land. So right inside this view for right inside this viewport. Perfect. Now here we can also animate the 3D iPhone as it is. So for that, what you will have to do is bring this 98 back to the zero point. Okay, now I want to also rotate this iPhone on a 3D axis on the top when it's moving from the top to the bottom. And for that, what I have to do is once I am at keyframe zero, I will double click here. And here, as you can see, there's something called default camera. We want to move around the camera so that we can view the iPhone from a different angle. So under keyframes, we now have default camera and I can click on this little add keyframe button. Now I will shift it to the second keyframe, which is 98 approximately. And here I will now shift the camera around by dragging this environment like this. Of course, 
to shift the iPhone or to rotate the iPhone, we will now need to tweak the iPhone as well. So do the same thing again, bring it back to zero and add a keyframe for this iPhone 14 Pro as well. Under the 3D scene, you'll find it. Click on add keyframe and on the next keyframe, it, which is the last portion of this animation, make sure this iPhone starts to rotate. So in this case, we can always switch the rotation from the side panel right here, just to give it more precise rotation. Instead of minus 10 on the x-axis, I can give it something like 25 on the x-axis, which will rotate it like this, something like this. Then we can always rotate it on the y-axis as well, a little bit 10 to 20, which will give this uh, facing towards the text kind of. The z-axis does not need change as such, but start tweaking a little more with the y-axis until, until your dynamic island is in view. 10 degrees for me was more or less a good sweet spot. And I will now zoom in as well. But if you take it back to zero, as you can see, it animates from there to here in a perfect sequence. Buenos muchos. Now, once you have tweaked everything, I've also placed this little text here, which showcases dynamic island as it is. Now you can play it and see the magic happen for yourself. So if I click on this play button on top, the, on the top right, it will open up a, another separate web page with the final result. Now, to be honest, looking at this website, it almost looks as if Apple made it. So that's really cool. Now, if I scroll from here, as you can see, it almost seamlessly scrolls into view with the dynamic island and wow, it just looks perfect with the text moving in its own order. It creates a parallax effect of sorts. Wow, this is amazing. And this is just the crusk of the crazy things you can do. Again, I'll show some things that you can do in the background with this tool, but this is our little attempt to create a 3D website. I would encourage you to expand on this idea, create insane um, iPhone mockups and animate them. If you like this video or this tool, make sure you hit the like button. Tell me in the comments if you want to see more videos like this made in Dora. And I'll see you next time, same pace, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.